This is Jay Miron, a member of the Schwinn Bicycle Stunt Team. Jay is a three-time world champion and the 1995 Extreme Games jumping champion. Tonight, on our stage, Jay is going to go beyond extreme. Tell everybody what you're going to do. I'm going to throw a double back. For those of you who are not as well-versed in contemporary bike lingo as yours truly, I'll translate. <laughs> Jay is going to propel himself high enough to execute two complete backflips in midair then land on his wheels. Many extreme riders have tried, and to our knowledge, no one has ever made it. Jay, what are the dangers of what you're about to do? Well, obviously, as soon as you go upside down, there's the risk of breaking a neck. Uh, this is upside down two times, so it's two twice times. as dangerous. Well, good luck. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Take off. Thanks. Jay's extraordinary stunt doesn't begin here. It starts up there. In order for Jay to generate enough speed to complete the double back, he will have to use every inch of our studio, a diagonal distance equal to a 15-story building. Jay's designed a special two-story high ramp with a 65-degree vertical drop where Jay Spotter is standing right now. Jay will charge down from the top of the ramp through our audience, hopefully hitting our studio floor with enough velocity to vault himself 25 feet in the air off what riders call a box jump. A six foot high, 32 foot long structure that Jay has placed dead center in the middle of our studio. At the highest point of his jump, Jay will be less than five feet from the top of our studio. And that should give him enough time to complete the two back flips. Midway through the second flip, Jay must instantly calculate his height, speed, and position as he approaches the landing site. Now, if all goes well, his back tire will hit first, like an airplane, on the angled back side of the box jump. After landing, Jay will have just under 50 feet to regain control of his bicycle. For Jay to stop safely and to safeguard our audience in the event that something goes wrong, we place a 12-inch thick protective padding on the box jump, and we have emergency medical personnel standing by. All right, Jay, the stage is set. Good luck, and be careful. Oh, deuce. How far? He's okay. Let's hear it for him. As you can see, just before committing to his second backflip, Jay bailed out 15 feet above our studio floor. He realized he did not have enough height to complete the revolution. And now, he will again attempt to perform the double back on our stage. Come in. Hit it. Watch the TV. We're going to show an instant replay of this in slow motion. Uh, what do you think was going through First your mind? crank's important. I come down to the bottom. I get a good pump. Hit the crank hard. All right. As I'm going here, I'm thinking commit to two. Up in the air. I'm now feeling pretty good. I hit it with a lot of speed. My knees didn't buckle at all. Right here is the commitment period where you have to stay on. There's a bailout period right there, but I stayed through it. As you turn around now, the main focus is spotting the landing. I see the green. I stretch out, as you can see there, and prepare for impact. It's a pretty heavy impact, so I actually fell into the seat a little bit there. Hurt my tush. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm all right. Yeah.